Hey, can you see me? You can hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Yep, I can see you fine. Good. Good. All right, how's your day going? Aye. Excellent. Well, all things considered, it's a bit, it's a bit quiet here in the office, but I uh, know things are going pretty good. So, so thank you for agreeing to do this uh, interview online. I know it's a bit unconventional having these sort of job interviews, not not face to face, but given everything that's going on in the world, I figured it'd probably be safer. Uh, you know, so it makes sense. At least I don't have to wear a mask. I'm the only one here. So when we set up this call, you got an email with the, the code word, right? Yeah. Okay, that's because, um, I mean, this call should be perfectly secure and everything's fine, but we, the stuff that we do is quite sensitive and we don't really want to uh, take the chance of divulging uh, sensitive information by accident. So... If you could just um, tell me your secret code word that we sent you. That's the one. And can you just confirm your first and last name, please? Excellent. And how do you spell your last name? Good, good Scottish name you got there. That's fantastic. All right. Um, oh, and can you just give me your date of birth again? Great. Looks like we've definitely got the right person. First of all, can I ask, what do you know about us? What do you know or what have you heard about Bauer Precision Instruments? Nothing. Did you Google it? Of course, yeah, everybody Googles it before the interview, don't they? Yeah. What did you find? Nothing. Oh, did it take you to Urban Dictionary, did it? <laughs> a few other Scottish... Yeah, but basically, nothing is what you've seen. You, you don't know anything about us. Excellent. That's good. So that's obviously means that we've been doing something right because you're not supposed to know anything about us. We don't uh, advertise. Our name is not in the public. Pretty much everything we do is done in secret. So that is a very good thing. So our, I'll get so I'll give you a bit of background on on the company. Um, so we were founded in Scotland uh, in 1985 in a garage, kind of a backyard garage, um, in a fairly small and insignificant region of Scotland called uh, Fife. Now we started working on tools, um, precision tools, that we would make things, we would make devices. So I'm keeping it I'm keeping it vague at the moment. Um, and we ended up uh, working with like local government engineering companies and then we started getting more and more well known within the industry uh, that did that precision engineering and we grew and grew until now we have contracts with government agencies, space technology departments and companies all over the world. So it's, uh, it's very exciting, but it's also um, very secretive. Okay. And needless to say, we left that crappy wee garage, the Fife behind long ago. Now we've got offices all over the world, just like this one. Now, you heard about this job via an agency, is that right? Okay, good. 
um, which which agency was it? Okay, all right, that's that, yeah, that's one of our one of our partners. There's so many uh, job websites in that they scour the the web and they grab details and then they advertise the job and they. It's all just a way of trying to get advertising and skimming money. But um, no, they're one of the legit agencies, so that's that's that obviously helps us to realise that our details are being protected as well. So now I've got three questions for you. Okay. Do you have a desire for fame? Okay, uh, or notoriety, desire for notoriety, no, okay, and um, I guess, do you ever feel like you want to have your name published in there, like journals or papers, would be nice, but you don't, could do without it, okay. <laughs> All right. Good, because we don't really get the chance to do that here. Okay. Yeah, so... I mean, to be honest, we pretty much work in secret. Now, Recently, we've started you know, putting up signs and printing t-shirts and that. Um, a few, just, you know, it makes us feel a bit more like you know, we're part of the the world, you know. But uh, but we're not allowed to wear these, like, outside. So um, we generally just keep it, keep it, keep it in secret. So... It's, uh, it's all pretty low-key, um, unfortunately, and as long as you're okay with that, then you'd make a good candidate. Some people feel a bit, you know, they come to work, they can't really discuss what they do outside of work, and it's amazing how many people, that's all they've got in common, you know, they, they talk to their, their pals at the pub or at the golf course, whatever it is that you, you do, and they just talk about work. Uh, if you work for us, you can't do that. You know, you have to, I had a good day, I had a bad day. That's basically it. Do you think you'd be comfortable with that? Okay. Yeah, so this is that, I mean, you know what that is, right? Uh, Calibre, yeah, but yeah. I should give you a hint to, to what we do. Well, I've, I've sort of already told you what we do, but I'll, I'll get back into it in a more detailed fashion in a wee second. Um, you know, normally I don't, I don't really uh, get into this level of detail, even in these interviews. But uh, you seem like a trustworthy person. <laughs> so, what the hell? Let's let's um, let's. I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain what we're what we're up to. I mean, it's to be honest. You're the first person I've talked to in ages. I've been I've been stuck in this office. I, I'll be honest. I've actually been sleeping here. I've got a bed bed right through there. So. Um, it's uh, it's been pretty tricky the last few months, but somebody's got to keep the lights on. Somebody's got to keep this stuff stuff going. So uh, I'm grateful for this because you're the first person I've talked to in months. So if I come across a wee bit odd, um, that's why. Okay, so forgive me if I. Forgive me. Now, um, 
Yeah, so basically what we do, right, is um, we have patented, right, we discovered, if you like, whole new domain of measurements. Okay, don't tell anybody this, right? But see how you've got like meters, centimeters, millimeters, well below that, like that's not very, that's useful for most people. Below that, you don't really need that level of precision, right? I mean, if you're making a cupboard, or God, even if you're manufacturing a car, you know, the millimeter, maybe slightly below the millimeter, but which one is it below the millimeter? Micrometer. Micrometer. Micrometer? Is it micrometer or micrometer? Got me wondering now. Micrometer. So, is it, is it, right, okay. That's probably the most useful small unit of measurement. But yeah, but then below that you've got, um, what's that, the uh, nanometer, picometer, femtometer, atometer. I can never remember all these because they're just ridiculous. That's the problem, like all these names, all these names are really hard to remember. It's, um, I don't know who came up with them, but like our one, Bohia, that, that's easy to remember. Do you know what I mean? Like that's like 1.6 Bohiers. I mean, easy. So, bel so below uh, micrometer, you've got nanometer, picometer, femtometer, atometer, zeptometer, yoctometer, and then finally we have the Bohia. So that's kind of where we where we sit. It's so small, so precise. The machines and the devices that we make, it, it really is exciting. And this is this is why it can be a wee bit frustrating working here sometimes because you know we know how to manufacture a supercomputer that would fit in the palm of your hand. And we can manufacture those for uh, companies that send them up into space. There are micro satellites in orbit right now using technology that was manufactured by us, which would, those satellites would be 10 times larger if it wasn't for the boy here. So it's, it's, it really is the, the smallest unit of measurement known to humans and but we we discovered that back back in 1985 uh, in uh, in faith so i mean that's just yeah so currently we're providing nasa with tools that can measure down to uh, 9.8 boyers in length it's uh, it's it's amazing you know uh, next year our next generation of tools we're, we're aiming to get to 6.8 boyers so it's uh, like i said that's the that's the thing you know you're doing this stuff and you get no fame no glory and if as long as you're okay with that then you'll be a good fit for our organization. Actually, we're uh, hoping to get a contract from India and China next year as well. That sort of pandemic's put hold on a lot of that stuff, but. You know, we're, we're fairly confident that it'll all, it'll all work out and uh, it'll be an exciting future. You'll be basically, it's like you'll be working for humankind, okay? But you don't get any fame, but you're pulling the strings from behind the scenes. You know, and I think that there's something about that. It's almost like being like a secret agent or something, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm rambling, I'm rambling. Let's, let's, let's get back, let's get back into it. So 
So I guess uh, really I just need, need to make sure that um, you're the right candidate, right? So uh, I'll ask you the, the standard HR uh, questions that we've got. Uh, forgive the simplicity and not that. So, team player? Yeah, team player. Yeah, okay. I like to work hard and play hard. Of course, that is what we want. Um, you got a clean driving license, right? Right. Okay. And, uh, yeah, actually, you're obviously passionate about the bar hairs. Good, I'm glad. Glad to hear that. Alright. Oh, God, yeah. God, look at all this. Oh, jeez. All this, um... All this isolation has turned me into a bit of a chat box. It really has. I just realised how long... How long we've been uh, yakking. Um... So I apologise if I've made it a bit strange, this call. Um, I think the isolation has been getting to me. And yeah, I, a lot of the stuff I told you, you probably should just forget about um, the scale and all that. It's, uh, it's not important. It's not really important. We will be doing a background check on you. Is that all right? Okay, good. Uh, it's standard. Like we just troll through Facebook, Twitter, and all that. Just make sure there's no non dodgy, like non dodgy on there. Do you know what I mean? No. So we'll, we'll check that. Um, make sure there's no skeletons in the closet, as it, as it were. Make sure there's no, uh, yeah. Well, you know, you know, you know the song. Song people look for. I'm really rambling. I'm sorry. It's been it's been hard the last few months now. Thank you. Uh, have you got any got any questions for me? No. Right. Good. Thanks so much for for this. Uh, we'll we'll be in touch. Let you know. And if you. If you have any questions, chuck us an email or we'll, we'll, we'll go for there. Sorry, I've been I've been just rambling on and on. It's the isolation's been sort of getting getting to me a wee bit, you know. Ah, uh, sorry. Um, um, it's been it's been really good talking to somebody. It's been last few months very much uh, well you know you know it's like you've everybody's having a difficult time with 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 it all so um thank you so much for talking to me I uh, I hope that once we do the background check did I tell you about the background check all right yeah so we'll be We've got a company that does all that. Like, they just check your Facebook and Twitter and all that. Like, make sure there's nothing dodgy, nothing dodgy on there that might make us think that mm-hmm. you're dodgy. Do you know what I mean? And um, you don't mind. You don't, no. yeah. Who cares? I'm, not, I'm the only one here. So, do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, they'll just check that out. Make sure that's all, it's all good, um, and really, that's it. And if if it all all works out, you can join, join the, join the crew. Join the, I'm not going to welcome you on board just yet because I don't want to get your hopes up. Like, but oh, by the way, the money's good and all. Mm. I've got a pool table at the back too. Proper one, no one of the crappy ones. Like good good one yeah yeah do you ever find that like after you've had a couple of drinks you become the best pool player in the world 
And then when you get to your third drink, you become the worst. And I forget it. I'm, I'm rambling. Um, yeah, lack of human, lack of human contact can sometimes wonder if maybe we should have stayed in that, that wee garage back in Fife. Well, it was never, it was never going to be an option like the, what with all the, um, all the, um, Fifers. Maybe we can, if you've got any more questions, you can, if you've got any, no, no questions, right? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Well, we can, uh, we'll, we'll do the background check and if it looks good, we'll, we'll get you, get you on board. What card play hard, team player, clean driving license. Need to get a bit of driving license to be honest. As long as you, you, you can get the bus, there's a bus that comes. Do you know what I mean? And honestly, you'll be making so much money you could get a taxi to work every day if you want. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's it. Thanks for uh, thanks for letting me conduct this interview. Don't tell anybody any of that sensitive stuff I tell you, or uh, I'll, I'll get in trouble. And, well, I don't even want to get in trouble, so. All right, I'm gonna hang up there. All right, just keep it, just don't, don't tell anybody any of that.